This is Should I Stay or Should I Go by The Clash. We're going to start things out with the intro. I'm in standard tuning, so if you tune up to a guitar tuner, you should be in uh, tune with both me and the recording. The whole thing starts on a D chord. Uh, the way we formed that, you might already know this, but I'll show it to you anyway. Um, first finger, second fret, third string, second finger, second fret, first string, and third finger sneaks in between both of them on the third fret of the second string. And we strum from the fourth string down, and we're going to go three of those. From there we move to G5 which is 3rd and pinky on 3rd fret on 2nd string and 1st string, 1st finger, 2nd fret, 5th string and 2nd finger, 3rd fret, 6th string. 4 of those, and then we go back to D for 1. So slowly it looks like this. After that, we have some mutes. And the way you do this is we put our hand across the guitar neck like this. We don't press down, we just kind of leave our fingers across it and brush the pick across the string slowly. After that, we have this little riff again. Then something that looks like this. And slowly, that is the 10th fret on the 2nd string, hammer to 13th 2nd string and slide up to 15th. Goes about this fast. Cruises by pretty fast. Um, and then he begins to sing. So there's our intro, let's move along and do the verse. Okay, so there it is along with the music. Uh, same thing we saw before. In the intro. Twice. After that we have... Which is our bar chord shape. Uh, sixth string root on the third fret. How we're doing this one is you put your first finger across all the strings. Second finger, fourth fret third string and third and pinky on fifth fret of fifth string and fourth string like this. And we do three of those. Slide the whole thing down to first fret, two of those. And then back to third. And then we have... From there we go to fifth fret bar chord. Strumming in that rhythm. So here it is slow, and I'll kind of mumble the words as I go. Darling, you got to let me know. Should I stay or should I go? If you say that you are mine, I'll be there till the end of time. But you got to let me know. Should I stay or should I go? Now, the second time around, a second guitar comes in, which I'm going to show you. Um, okay, there's a second guitar that comes in after the first round during the first verse. And um, it basically uses power chords. Like this. And he does the rhythm a little differently. He does... Like that. Um, now... The whole thing starts with our first finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string and third finger um, going over the seventh fret, fourth, third, and second strings. And we do three of those, then two of these, and back for one of these. Now he kind of tends to accentuate the lower strings. We don't so much hit the higher strings with this guitar part. Something like that. Then we move back down to here. Then back to here. Then to the A chord. And see how this is really similar to the 
first guitar we did, with the exception of this little move here. I'll play it along with the music one. Um, in the second verse, there's a little fill that that guitar does. I'll pull it up for you here. We'll listen to it quick here, and I'll point it out. So it fits in right there. I'll play it along with the music one more time so you can kind of see it. I'm going to put, a, put in a loop here. Here it comes. So what I did here is just this quick little... Something like that. We use our first finger across the 10th fret on the 1st and 2nd strings and our 2nd finger on the 11th fret of the 3rd string and we sweep through them with the pick like so and what you're going to do is roll your fingers so each one produces an individual note like that. You don't want this, you don't want a chord. Stay away from that. And from there we just have these two notes together. So the whole little fill looks like this. And that's that fill in the uh, second verse. So let's move along now and work on the chorus. All right, there's two guitars in the chorus of this song. Um, all right, so the whole thing is, starts on this bar chord here. Similar shape that we saw in the... Um, rhythm guitar in verse 1. So we're going to have our first finger across the 10th fret, 2nd on 11th, 3rd string, 3rd and pinky on 12th. And the strum is kind of uh, haphazard and improvised. So you kind of want to be like... Down, 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 down. And then here we're going to switch to this chord, which is first finger... Uh, 10th fret, 5th string, 3rd, barring 4th, 3rd, and 2nd on the 12th fret. And then we're going to try to get this note in here too on the 10th fret of the 1st string. So we have... And the way the words fit into this, it's like, should I stay or should I go now? Should I stay or should I go now? And what we're doing here is 10th fret, uh, the same chord we saw a minute ago, 1st finger 10th fret, 3rd across to all 3 on the 12th fret, move it down to 8th fret, and back to 10th, so that little move, and then we go back to this. down to fifth just like we did in the verse and then we have as a transition back into the verse so if we do that whole thing it's gonna look like this should I stay or should I go now There it is. There's our chorus guitar one. Let's move along and do chorus guitar two. Okay, this is the second guitar in the chorus to um, Should I Stay or Should I Go by the Clash. It's all power chords down here. Um, for these chords, we're going to be using our first, third, and pinky uh, in this configuration. So there it is. We start on the fifth fret with this chord configuration here. First finger, fifth, third, seventh, fourth string, pinky, seventh, third string. And our strum is going to be similar to what we did with guitar one. It's kind of maybe a little more sparse for this one. We could be like. After that, we go to third fret. The same chord configuration, except here we're starting on the sixth string and then back to fifth. We do that twice. Then we go third, first, 
first, third, back to this, and then to fifth, then the riff. So if we were to fit the words into this, it would look like this. Should I stay or should I go now? Should I stay or should I go now? If I stay there, will be trouble. If I go there, will be devil. So you got to let me know. So there's our chorus. Um, there's an extra little note in the middle bridge. Uh, the bridge is actually the same as the verse as far as the chords go, but there's this little extra note in there. I'm going to show you in the next segment. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the bridge of Should I Stay or Should I Go by The Clash. Um, there's two extra notes here, one on the 10th fret first string, one on the 6th fret second string and it just kind of accents certain parts of the rhythm. The rhythm guitar is exactly the same as a verse so we're not going to go over that. I'm just going to show you these extra couple notes. Um, I'll play along with the song. They're not that loud in the mix so they're kind of um, not as prevalent as the rhythm but they are there and I want to cover every detail so here we go. Um, like I said we have this <coughs> for our first note and then the second time through it goes which is 10, 6, 2nd string. Last time it just goes. And you want to listen close to the recording to see if you can lock them in with the recording like I did. Um, the rhythm is a little bit off, so you might have to go through it a couple times before you get it locked in. But anyway, there's those accent notes in the bridge. That is it for the whole song. Let's go along now and play along with the whole thing so that we can see how the parts fit together.